Christmas in Italy is all about the light shows, religious traditions, and decadent shopping. The Eternal City is the best city to experience that festive Italian flair. The city is transformed with particular Christmas markets, light displays, and various festive opportunities to enjoy the season around town. The Christmas season is a distinctive time in Italy and especially Rome. Let's not forget the capital of the Western world during the first Christmas over 2,000 years ago was Rome. Today, the ancient capital is still a leading city in the Christian world with some of the most sacred Christmas traditions in Europe. Christmas is an exciting time to visit Rome, so if you can't spend Christmas in Rome this year or wonder what Christmas is like in Rome, this episode is dedicated to the most festive time in the Eternal City. It is a time when families, friends, and romantic couples get together or bundle up for another reason to head out for a passeggiata along one of Rome's many famous thoroughfares. There are plenty of places throughout the city for locals and visitors to get into the holiday spirit. Via del Corso and Via dei Condotti are famous shopping streets that are fun to see at this time for their never-ending Christmas lights. Christmas markets pop up around the city and you can buy unique handcrafted gifts. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, one of the most popular Christmas markets in Piazza Navona is not happening this year. But there are still other great markets where Romans frolic around the holidays to find treats and treasures. Street vendors will line the busy squares and the best place to keep yourself warm is next to the chestnut cellar. The festive surroundings, the aroma, and popping sound of chestnuts means that Christmas is around the corner. A good walking route to get into the holiday spirit is to start at Piazza Venezia to check out their giant Christmas tree, then head down Via del Corso to the Christmas market in Piazza del Popolo. If you can't make it all the way down to Piazza del Popolo, you can always turn up Via Condotti where you can end up at the Spanish Steps. St. Francis is credited with building the first ever nativity scene in 1223. St. Francis was a medieval monk who was a humanist, environmentalist, and master teacher of Bible lessons. Since most of the population was illiterate during this time, he was permitted by the Pope to physically build the story of the birth of Jesus with clever props. St. Francis included all of the elements of the gospel stories of the birth of Jesus and used live animals to build his manger in a cave about 100 kilometers north of Rome. This creative storytelling helped local people connect with the story of the nativity and the Christmas message in a vivid way. Even miracles were associated with the first manger scene built by St. Francis. 800 years later, the tool to teach people used by St. Francis about the first Christmas can be seen all over Rome. The nativity scenes we see today are often placed in local villages or places in Italy just the way St. Francis did. To better understand the birth of Christ, instead of Bethlehem, the manger is in an area local Italians would recognize. That is interessante. There are countless churches in Rome, so you of course can't see them all. The most famous stop is the tomb of St. Peter, upon which a great basilica has been built topped with Michelangelo's incredible dome. Vatican City, which is the headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, is an unmissable destination in Rome. If you haven't visited, I definitely recommend a guide and booking a Skip the Line tour. When I'm in Rome, I feel like just one pilgrim in a long tradition of people who've traveled here for centuries. The grandest and most exciting of all nativity scenes in Rome is in St. Peter's Square, where the Pope celebrates Midnight Mass every Christmas. If you're looking for fewer people, head to the Basilica of Santa Maria Maggiore, one of Rome's oldest and most important churches. Faithful Catholics believe that the original planks from the crib of Jesus Christ are inside of this church. You've heard enough of what I think of Christmas in Rome, so now let's hear from our local Roman friends. Ciao. What does Christmas mean to you? 
Il Natale è una festa bellissima, è una festa che ci permette di stare insieme ai nostri amici, alla nostra famiglia e di viverci dei momenti spensierati in allegria. Beh, per me è famiglia, è stare con la mia famiglia, con i miei affetti e mangiare tanto. What is your favorite Christmas pastime? Giocare a carte. La mia attività per fine del Natale è aspettare la mezzanotte del 24 ogni 25 e scattare i regali della mia famiglia. What is your favorite thing to eat during Christmas? Zero mi piace gli antipastini. Baccalà che fa mio papà il 24 sera. I fritti. Lasagna. I fritti, le verdure, i carciofi. What is your favorite place to visit in Rome during Christmas? Colosseo. Via del corso fino ad arrivare a Piazza Venezia dove di solito c'è l'albero di Natale. Piazza Navona. Piazza Navona. Thank you so much for getting into the Roman holiday spirit with me. Don't forget to hit the like button. If you love it, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell so you're notified when the next video comes out. Happy holidays and buon Natale.